Hey, how's it going guys? Zedai here. So, definitely wanted to touch on regarding of the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. This game is getting so many praises with its early reviews that are finally up. A lot of people giving it even a 10 out of 10. At the moment, it's actually 95 on Metacritic. It's a very, very successful DLC slash expansion from, from software for the Elden Ring. Mind you, this is incredible. A lot of people even said in their own reviews that this feels like more of an expansion for the Elden Ring. And because it's so ginormous and so much stuff is going on here, that it really does warrant it. And that's fantastic news. There's been so many praises that this game received. It's always fantastic to see and hear. Now, for example, there's like fresh gameplay opportunities that you can go through. For example, introductions of the new weapons and items. Interesting and beautiful, quite horrifying locations and makes the world feel a lot more dangerous and alive. And there's also mention of a refinement of gameplay, like some of the challenges and of course tough opponents that you have to uh, go through. And just, it makes it so much more satisfying, satisfying due to it. Now there's an excellent addition to the lore of the Elden Ring. So I'm sure a lot of people are gonna have a field time <laughs> going through that lore and perhaps making YouTube videos and explaining to, to everybody basically. Now, there's a, just a one little gripe that few people had regarding this expansion that there were some issues that they were having with the puzzles and just perhaps there were some difficulties that they were going through trying to figure that out. Nevertheless, I can't really say if that's really is a negative or perhaps it depends on the person or perhaps maybe it's from software's issue that they actually implement such a convoluted puzzle. Nevertheless, I can't really comment on that, but do say that, well, it's just, you have to wait and see kind of approach. Now, not a bad thing and a lot of people's hook or an objective or incentive is gone now due to that this game, this expansion, this DLC will not have any new trophy slash achievements. So a lot of people, that's actually myself included, will not even bother picking up this expansion DLC due to not having of extra things to look forward to or go for, right? There's always some kind of hook that a lot of people would like. Myself, like, like I'm talking about myself in this case. Like, I like to see like a hook dangling in front of me, like a carrot dangling in front of me, right? I wanna go for it. I have the incentive, I have the motivation, I have the energy, I really wanna go for it and achieve something. It makes it kind of satisfying, personally for me at least. And I'm sure a lot of other people feel the same way. And I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos as an example uh, for people that are going through um, and they have mentioned the titles of their videos. For this specific game, I got 100%. Here's how I did it. Here's my full video. Check it out. And you know, there's so many these varieties of sorts of videos. And unfortunately, now that this expansion or DLC is not going to have that, well, it kind of loses the appeal for a lot of people to even pick up the game. And unfortunately, myself included. I, about a week ago, I made a video that I'm not going to be picking up Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree because it has no trophies. And a lot of people were completely, like, just not understanding. And my opinion, I think it's fine. That's totally understandable. And perhaps maybe I did a poor job of explaining myself. And I, did, I, I believe I did to do a good job of explaining myself, but I did a way to lay it down in video because the people's interest and spam attention to the detail and just listening is not gonna be that interesting due to when you're mentioning it's something completely negative, especially in the title, because that can actually really turn off a lot of people and just simply have no interest of listening to what you have to say. And that's totally fine, I understand. But yet, I perhaps should have just explained it at the beginning of the video. Look, at this point, I'm already having a conversation regarding this. We're already more than three minutes length, reaching up to four minutes length. I'm dragging this conversation, and yet I still haven't mentioned exactly uh, why I am like this, right? Why do I not care about this expansion, this DLC? All because I have that, that it has no trophies or, you know, slash achievements. Like I mentioned already, it's just that hook, that incentive. That's what I like about video games, and I like to go for them. That, like, sure, it's the kind of nice way of showing it off as well. And I'm sure people are gonna say, oh, it's just a digital thing, why would you even bother with it? Like, you should be enjoying the games for what they are, not for the trophies. I completely understand, and I do enjoy my games for what they are, not because of the trophies. But the trophies is just like that extra additional hook that kind of makes it so much more appealing. That's just my, my thought, though. Nevertheless, this game, let's get back on track. Elden Ring, Shadow of the Archery. Fantastic. 10 out of 10s, 9 out of 10s. This is going to be an incredible time. From Software is like, they're magicians. They genuinely are. They're incredible developers. And I hope that they are making something 
very unique for the next IP. I kind of doubt that they'll make Elden Ring 2. And in fact, I wouldn't really mind them making an Elden Ring 2. I think it would be an, a, an excellent step. But maybe make it open world Bloodborne now. Like, Elden Ring is more of a Dark Souls open world. I kind of want to see how they go with the approaching of Bloodborne open world. My goodness, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, this sh We can only hope, right? <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of a chat regarding of all this situation. Uh, you know, sprinkle a little bit of my thoughts regarding the no trophies slash achievements and also what people think about Elden Ring Shadow of the Archery expansion in general. Looks like it's gonna get one of those masterpiece reviews and perhaps maybe even some people's, well, game of the decade or even game of the year in this case. Gonna be a lot of mentions in that uh, by the time we get the game awards of 2024. Alright, like and subscribe guys, see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.